Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so there's plenty of new content to talk about today. We've got like a brand new event that looks almost like a proud mode event. We get the second half of the time trials. We get 15 new story quests. We get a uh, zero AP, AP campaign. But no guilting campaign, unfortunately, but hey, kind of everything. And uh, also three returning avatar boards that all feature Mickey and one brand new one, which is absolutely insane. So we'll talk about the avatar boards first because we're already here. Um, in terms of the returning avatar boards, they're not the best, but I mean, that's to be expected of returning avatar boards. They're more of like a second chance for people that just want, want the full set more than actually having the skills within them. But, but given that I did buy them back in the day, I can show you what's in them. Um, this one has attack boost 2 max and attack boost 3, and it's the formal Mickey and formal Mini, and a power gem. Um, this is probably the worst of the bunch, but again, it is the oldest, so that does make sense. Um, yeah, attack boost 2 max and attack boost 3, you're definitely not buying these ones for the skills. Um, but I suppose you could pay a pretty large amount for a power gem if you wanted to. Um, the winter boards here I did miss, but I can show you what's in them real quick if we take a peek at the notices. Um, given that I missed them though, they're probably not that great, because, you know, I have impeccable taste. Okay, so it's uh, a skill perk 3, a uh, skill perk plus 6 being the real big winner there, as well as an APP and attack boost 3. Uh, again, not the best. I probably missed out on those because I do like purchasing skills with at least one max, uh, max skill inside it. And, you know, it's APP with no max guarantee and AB3 with no max guarantee. Uh, back in the day, I definitely thought it was worth skipping, so let's move on. And what else have we got here? We've got, okay, Orchestra Mickey. And I believe this one was pretty good because I first bought this for, I believe, the Lux boosting skill as well as Defense Boost 3. Oh yeah, and Special Attack Gauge 1. This is back in the day when, I think, I think in my game, I personally just pulled, like, Dark Riku maybe? And it was like the first medal that I could really use with a really high gauge cost. And I was like, man, I need to mitigate that somehow. Uh, so it gave me defense boost 3 and this attack boost plus skill. As well as, you know, a non-max version of AB3 plus Lux plus. Um, this is not too bad of a board, to be quite honest. Defense boost 3 is still semi, like pretty useful. And this is the kind of skill that you get nowadays in the, like the gem board, for example. So it's not the most outdated thing. 1500 jewels, it's not the worst deal in the world, but again, you probably want to spend your jewels on more relevant content, to be quite honest. Um, speaking of relevant content, the brand new avatar board is absolutely insane. Um, I'm pretty disappointed that I actually missed out on the uh, the Jafar boards. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think I just ran out of time. Like, I was doing pulls for Kyrie EX literally right before... The, um, the banner went away, and I just I just completely forgot to buy the board. So I missed out on Attack Boost 4 Max and Lux Plus, but luckily it's back. And boy, is it back. Uh, Attack Boost 4 Max and Lux Plus in a board that also features Skill Perk Plus 9 on your head. That is a really, really important slot for a head, uh, for a skill piece on your head, because I don't think we have all that many, and certainly not ones at Plus 9, so I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Um, Attack Boost 4 Max and Special Attack Gauge 0 included as well. That's, again... Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Makes medals like Final Form Shion, makes medals like, uh, I don't know, SP Venetus or 0.2 Terra, exceptionally useful, even on really, even on the proud mode Keyblades with very little SP cost. Um, this is an insanely, insanely powerful, um, really, really good avatar board. You need get seven mirrors and one magic broom as well. This is definitely the kind of board you want to be picking up. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's do it right now. Why not? Why not? I don't think I'm going to regret this. So here we go, 2500. Let's see what's inside. Um, so here we got the avatar parts, which are really cool. And then one, two, three, really fantastic skills, along with yet another power gem. Really fantastic. And we get tons of mirrors and a bit of crap as well. C plus 10, day old ship, and yeah, seven mirrors. Really, really awesome board, guys. I definitely recommend picking it up. Um, let's talk about some of the new content. So. It's so funny, someone in my comments just today, just hours ago, actually asked me, they're watching one of my really old videos and said, you know, how did you, as a free-to-play player, get skip tickets? Because I guess they're a new player. Um, back in the day, where we actually rewarded skip tickets, um, just for like the anniversary, perhaps, and I don't know, there was one other time, but I think I have, yeah, I've got 35, and I was saying, oh, you know, every now and then we occasionally get given skip tickets by the game, but it's a very, very rare thing, and then sure enough, a couple hours later, <laughs> free skip tickets, so... Uh, why don't we go through this event together? Why don't we do that? Because we didn't have an Organization 13 event this month. Why don't we go through this event together? And let's see if we can do it with event medals. Uh, so I've just chucked a couple of Halloween Sauras in there uh, onto a random setup. I don't think we're going to have much troubles giving the enemies only level 15, but let's go into it. It's kind of cool, you know, they've got these proud mode mechanics into a different event this time. It, 
it makes total sense to me. It's like, you know, we've had these mechanics in the game. Um, you know, why not use them for, for something else? Oh, I'm on auto mode still. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that. Okay, so, again, I don't think the enemies are going to be all that tough, to be quite honest. We can probably just tap our way through, um, given that a lot of people will have their three wishes, and they should have it semi-upgraded, even the newer players. It really shouldn't be that difficult. Um, but I'm sure as we get further and further into the quest, it'll get harder and harder. Okay. We're in a pretty good time for content right now, you know? Like, this has been a pretty, pretty solid week of content, so... But... There they go, so we should be getting a, a skip ticket for the first time in a long, 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 long time. I'll have to remember that for the next time someone asks me where I get skip tickets from. I'll be like, there was like a Snuggly event, and people will be like, what What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, no, the, snug, the Snuggly event. <laughs> I think I must have given this HD Ursula a APP for... Might have been a... Oh, 20 whole jokes, nice. Might have been a high score challenge way back in the day. Alright, that's part one. Let's go into part two. Okay, so part two, just load it up, it is only multiple special attacks, well, okay, <laughs> I guess I've already got a setup that's only using special attack, uh, multi-attack special attack medals, so here we go, uh, 0.2 Kairi, or the free Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora EX, or uh, any of that should be more than enough to take out all the enemies in this quest. I'm certain of it, if, if not for the fact you can just swipe it anyway. Okay, so this is definitely aimed towards newer players, which is totally fine. You definitely want your new players to feel included in the game, so definitely happy about that. It's like summer right now in Australia, and it's like making my phone absolutely melt. Even though it's a pretty decent day, um, it's not exactly hot or anything. I can just I can see the frame rate on this thing absolutely going nuts. So <laughs> it's a poor phone. We haven't even started yet. We're gonna be going for like five minutes. Come on. Alright, on we go, on we go, on we go, and we're already at the end, very nice. So yeah, this is not, not exactly difficult stuff, but hopefully there'll be a bit of a challenge towards the end, but here we go, part two, all complete. Uh, should be 20 modules and another couple skip tickets. Yeah, and the amount of jewels we're getting right now is absolutely insane, it's like a thousand for the week for that uh, time trial challenge, I guess another 20 per quest here, which is really nice. Um, got the 1,000 for the weekly challenges. We've got the 300 for the daily login. It is it is a golden age of jewels right now. It's really fantastic. We'll have Black Friday coming up pretty soon as well, so anyone that decides to buy VIP can do so at a discounted rate, assuming they follow the trend of last year. All right, here we go. On to part three. And level 45 enemies, and I'm assuming with a treasure trove keyblade. There we go. So... Dealing five hits or lower. Okay, so... Uh, classic Goofy, I believe, showed up in Union Cross. Um, I got Sebastian here in Maui. Uh, these are old event... Well... Yeah, Sebastian was kind of an event medal, given that you could get it from a high score challenge, and it didn't necessarily need a crazy amount of points to get it. I'm pretty sure if you just pulled, like, one World of Final Fantasy medal, or even just got to the end of the challenge, you should be able to get at least one Sebastian. Like, mine's certainly not guilted, so... Level 45 enemies, certainly not too difficult. Okay, we're running through. Yeah, it's gotten to the point now where we can pretty much mercy pull medals pretty regularly. Um, and by that I mean... I'm gonna have to break this down properly when I do another... I'll do another, like, average amount of jewels breakdown. <laughs> One damage. Um, but what, so 300 a day, so that's... 2100 a week, plus what, 900 every 5 days for our daily logins, plus another minimum 200, so minimum 1100 a week uh, just for the daily logins, so they were, we're already up to what, 3200 a week I'm just trying to do the math on the fly here don't know why I'm bothering to go down here because I want to get to the enemy as soon as possible let's grab this chest, even though there's not really much point um yeah, we're getting a lot of jewels really quickly, which is freaking fantastic. I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, Union Cross is awarding a ton, and... Yeah, I mean, if, if they keep up five poor mercies, then we're going to be able to choose to do five poor mercies fairly regularly. Like, as long as everyone can just sort of get into the habit of saving up, um, then it's going to be a pretty good time. Okay, awesome. Because, like, even if, even if you only, like, keep 12,000 on you at a time... 
assuming that whenever a banner comes out, it lasts for at least a week, then if we're going to get at least 3,000 a week, then you can be like, okay, I'm not going to spend a single jewel from this point onwards. I have 12,000. There's a five pool mercy just come out for something that I really, really want. And that means that I can hang on to all my jewels from now and theoretically get at least 3,000 more before the end of the week, enough to do that five pool mercy. So complete within two turns. Okay, that's interesting. And we get a magic mirror for doing that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so only special attacks requiring one or fewer gauges allowed. Give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in a copycat medal here because it has zero cost. And um, I don't think it's going to be that difficult anyway. <laughs> so, uh, it's definitely aimed at new uh, newer players because it's only using the three basic keyblades. And I think you get all three monocolored keyblades pretty quickly on in the game. So, um, yeah, it's a nice little challenge to get new players in, which is... Again, like I said, always welcome. There we go, part three done. No, part four done. So I'm guessing there's going to be at least two more quests to give us one more for each of the new keyblades. Uh, each of the original keyblades. Maybe, maybe seven parts in total. Like featuring the Starlight Keyblade as the final one. I, I don't know. I don't know. Could be completely wrong. Let's get into part five. Okay, so part five, gonna give us one more skip ticket again. What is the condition? Okay, back to Lady Luck, and only single target medals allowed, fair enough. Uh, so again, not too difficult, only level 75 enemies, so uh, if you have anti-form Sora, it's gonna sit, <clears throat> sit right in the front there and very, very easily take care of everything in the, in the uh, entire game. But let's see. This goes for like the regular proud mode as well, but whenever you see the word single target attacks only, that should immediately go off in your head going, okay, I'm gonna use a copycat medal. It doesn't matter if you're going to copy a single target medal or a all attack target medal. The copycat medals are just an easy, easy, easy way of abusing proud mode. Um, <laughs> because a lot of the best medals are area of effect ones, because they provide all these buffs and debuffs and what have you, um, to multiple targets. So you'll see this ridiculous amount of damage being dealt, even if it's in the wrong slot. Like that was a reverse power medal being used to easily take care of a... Uh, even though, sorry, even though it's sitting in a speed slide, it's still doing ample damage just because, you know, it's such a powerful guilted metal. Alright, and away we go. Okay, they're being nice at least in giving us all single target enemies so far, which is you know, a pretty nice thing to do for new players, I suppose. This is like proud mode light almost, it's pretty cool. Little pet's gonna steal an item for me, thank you. Cinderella's room against, ooh, two enemies. Look out. It's gonna fire off Nova because of course we are, and easily take out this set of enemies as well. <laughs> All right, a little celebration dance, and then we'll move on to part six. Who knows how many parts there are? Hopefully not too many more. I'm kidding, it's a fun game. Okay, number five is all done. Okay, so 20 modules and one more skip ticket. There we go. Let's pause and get ready for number six. Okay, so part six, the condition is... Okay, back to Treasure Trove, and uh, only special attacks with tier four or less. Okay, so that's still pretty much all the medals you have in the game. Um, pretty much everything except for your brand new premium should be tier four or lower. So, again, I'm pretty sure if I just rock up with exactly the setup I have right now, which is just Maui... Uh, and Sebastian as my damage dealers. I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, where we go. Can we just avoid these enemies if we want to? Nope, defeat all enemies within one turn. Okay, let's do that then. May as well turn on auto mode because I'm gonna be attacking them all anyway. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is not gonna be difficult at all, guys. <laughs> So we're up to level 90 though, so we're getting we're getting up there. And nope, that's it, there's no more enemies, so okay. Only what, three or four batches of enemies. Oh, he's got a counter on his head, look out. Smack. So I wonder what auto mode does. Auto just taps, okay. So auto just taps if you can't actually use the special attack, which makes total sense. And I've got all my SP back, very nice. Okay, let's move on to part seven. Okay, another magic mirror up for grabs if we can defeat part seven within two turns. And it looks like we're at the at the beach, which is pretty cool. I don't think we have this location yet in our version, but oh, there we go. 
Only special attacks requiring five or more gauges allowed. Okie dokie. So that sounds like a job for Maleficent B. Or wherever she is. Okay, so I've got one Maleficent B equipped there. Um, let me just get a quick setup going real quick. I might as well show you guys what I do to actually make a setup when something like this happens when I'm going through proud mode or whatever. Um, the condition here is five or more gauges, so we're just going to go ahead and select five or six. Um, we can filter by magic, I suppose. Uh, because we're using the Three Wishes Keyblade against the power based enemy, so there we go. Uh, for me, I should be able to see, there he is. Uh, Joshua's showing up. It's Joshua, right? Yeah. Uh, and he's going to sit very nicely at the front of my Keyblade. Um, probably put Maleficent there. And then we should be pretty much right to go. Might chuck one of these guys in there at the back. Which one are you? Damage and Raids. I had a Ground Negative Defense one. Oh, actually. Grounds aren't going to help me out here very much, is it? Because it's a uh, aerial-based enemy, but whatever. I'm pretty sure that uh, Joshua plus um, Maleficent should be able to take it out. Um, for me, I'm lucky that I have Sebastian because he counts as six gauges, even though I've got the special attack gauge one on him, so I can use him in the front slot there and get another power buff as well. But uh, oh yeah, there you go. Um, that's a little minor buff for you guys as well, though. That'll only remove uh, one layer of, sorry, that'll only give you one layer of magical defense. That's the only thing. It's going to be relevant here, um, and yeah, nothing else really too relevant, so let's just jump into it. Okay, we're at the beach, so, oh, got a poison archer as well, nice. Um, I'm just going to pretty much rock in and assume Maleficent's going to do, oh crap, damn it, <laughs> damn you auto mode. Okay, so Joshua took out all the enemies for us, uh, we'll fire off Nova and see how much it does, and then be, well, <laughs> okay, well I pretty much could have just tapped uh, from that point onwards anyway. Um, is this helping you guys out at all? I'm hoping, like, I'm assuming that mostly only new players are going to be watching this. Um, again, if you guys are kind of shying away from proud mode because you're like, oh, I don't really have that many medals. Proud mode's not super intimidating, it's just like, did I get lucky enough in pools to have just a diverse kind of range of medals? Like I said, those, um, the world ends with you medals are really, really cool ones to get because they have a really high gauge cost and also provide a buff. And the reason I say it's cool that they have a high gauge cost is because they, you can use them in situations like this. Um, there are plenty of other medals that would be more applicable to your general day-to-day -day usage, um, but medals like this really help you out in the odd case where you actually need, you know, something with explicit criteria. All right. If I've done waffling on, probably, probably a lady luck quest now. Yep. With... Uh, only reverse medals allowed. Okay, so again, HD Shion fits the bill perfectly for me. Um, Alright, let's put something together real quick. And I'm just going to go in and tap uh, reverse and then green and then see what we have. I'm going to say Dark Riku pretty much off the bat is going to be something very, very nice for me to use. So I'll chuck him in there. Pretty much anything reverse, uh, reverse magic, reverse speed here is going to help you out. Um... Yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's just get into it, because I'm pretty sure this setup should be able to take him out. Like, one pretty powerful hit from her will buff me because it's copying a buffer, and then Dark Riku's going to do enough work to take him out, so... We'll throw, uh... We'll throw Final Form Shion in there, just in case, but I'm pretty sure we won't need it. Okay, we're in the dungeon from the Maleficent world. Have we seen this type of enemy before? That little... The little monkey race skin with the, uh... Wow, that really hurt him. Uh, the little green orbs in his hand? Not sure, but... Oh, they're dead now anyway. Have we seen this map before, to be quite honest? I don't really re recall it. One of those little rabbits with a counter over its head. Who knows what it does? Because he's dead. <laughs> um, should just be able to swipe, yep. And that's the target, so any other really strange conditions? No. Okay, same again, using my buffer, and then another buffer. And then my Nova should be more than enough to take him out. Wow, I was wrong. There you go. But <laughs> fortunately, I did have four other medals in the back that can easily do the work I needed. Alright, that was part, what, part eight, I think? Hopefully there's only ten. <laughs> I suppose free jewels is free jewels though, so I shouldn't really be complaining about having more of this game to actually play. Alright, more skip tickets, and let's pause to the next one. Okay, part 9 in Wonderland against 
<laughs> against an invisible, which is what I just said. I definitely didn't have to pause the video and clear out my storage space. Of course not. Okay, only random special, uh, random type medals allowed. So let's see if I've got. There you go. Axel B and Sykes B is exactly what I was looking for. So, oh, and uh, Majesty as well. Let's put a, together a quick setup with all three of those medals in it. So just like always, when we put together a proud setup, we're going to look for the main condition first. Um, we could go ahead and filter by power, but I know for a fact that there are some magic type medals given away for free uh, that had um, uh, strength boosting capabilities in it. Not that one, but it was in fact Zexion B. There we go. So let's put Zexion up the front, um, put Sykes B in there at the back, and... I've got two Meowdices, but let's use a Goofy, because why not? Uh, this should be more than enough to take care of the uh, all the enemies in this thing anyway. Yeah, no other no other uh, medals worth mentioning there. Put Aqua in there, because it's Guilted, and that should be enough. Alright, let's get back into the quest. Okay, here we go. So let's launch it, and... Yeah, I mean, this should be a pretty pretty simple quest again, like, like all of them are. Um, if you do need help with any of these in particular, if you don't have certain medals... Um, Again, this is not like, this is exactly what you need to do, it's more of a... That's kind of cheeky. Putting a counter enemy against random enemy... Uh, a counter enemy against... Chop chop. I'm doing this. Ah, damn it. Auto is good, but every now and then I do want to turn it off, just because it's like... I don't really need to use a special attack there. Although, we did get full SP back, so that's pretty nice. SP chest there, if we need it. Still no enemies. The condition is to defeat all the enemies within one turn, so I don't want to miss any ones that could be hidden. Okay, so we should be able to take this guy out relatively easily. Away goes Axel. Uh, yeah, I did get him guilted. That's good. And he very, very easily goes down. Beautiful. On we go. Okay, this is exactly the kind of quest that uh, um, the random target quest is built for. Once with, like, tons and tons of enemies is the only real way of making... That sort of quest challenging. But again, with enough powerful enemies, we can pretty much just ignore the condition entirely, just boost our strength up a little bit, and then either just swipe or tap and, you know, do all the damage that we need to do. There is an enemy down there. God, this frame rate is getting really nasty. It's really hurting my head, actually. Okay, that's really a bit of a pain in the ass having a paralysis archer there. Might be worth using Nova here, to be perfectly honest, or actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure Meowdesty will have a better chance of taking out all these enemies than Axel B will, so there we go, and in fact he did. Uh, the Invisible's there, but are there any enemies up the top there? Let's just make sure real quick. I'm pretty sure there aren't though, because yeah, I'm pretty sure there aren't. Okay, back we go. Almost there. Alright, we can pretty much just use Nova here and take them all out from more or less the get-go, but... Let's boost our strength up a little bit first. And then we use Nova. I didn't actually get sexy on Guilted if you guys are, are new to the channel. Um, I was only able to do, what, 12 out of the 13 quests back in the day, so... I'm really looking forward to the Organization 13 reprint event, which... I thought we would have been getting this month, but I, I guess they had different plans. Um, we did get that, that trial time trial instead, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a thousand jewels right there, so... I'm definitely not complaining about... About that lack of content, because I'm assuming it will come sometime in the future, so... Speaking of content to come in the future, we should definitely be having a Hades cart before too long. Definitely. If not, if not many. I think the Japanese version's up to like, four Hades cups by now, so... I'm rambling. <laughs> okay, as I predicted, there's ten quests, and is this one going to be a Starlight Keyblade? Or is it going to be back to, um... Okay, three wishes again. Fair enough. Okay, only tier 3 medals or less. Okay, so that means that the uh, Trick Master is out. That's interesting, but we have to beat this within 3 turns or less. So you can either go in and pretty aggro and try and take it out in 1 turn, or you can go defensively um, using the Union Cross medals that we've been given lately, like um, Hena Penso Let and uh, Tigger Poo Piglet. Um, anyway, let's just go in as we are right now and see if we can beat it in the laziest mode fashion without even having to change our setup one little bit. Let's see if that works. So as werewolves are known to do, they're going to have a counter over their head. Oof, 19 bars of health. That's actually that's actually a pretty solid amount of HP. So I don't know if I actually want to use Joshua here, just because A, he's really expensive, and B, he also deals a ton of hits, but, you know, may as well. 
Okay, so we're going to have an SP problem pretty soon. Well, very, very soon, actually. So I'm not going to be able to take this out. <laughs> That's alright, I'm pretty sure uh, Sykesy Boy is going to do all the work for me. Ooh, just, literally just with the final hit, and it's all done. <laughs> um, if you didn't help with that one, do let me know, but um, we do have three turns to take it out if you want the full set of rewards, so... That's not a bad little quest though, it's 2,000 jewels, basically for, uh, sorry, 200 jewels for free. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a different, different thing. Uh, different, there's little, sl <laughs> little skunks there. <laughs> uh, yeah, 200 free jewels and, um, you know, a different form of gameplay than we're used to. So, not a bad little event at all. Um, I want to do the time trial as well, but I might do that in a separate video, because this one's getting pretty long. But, yeah, enjoy guys, if you need any help, as always, just ask, and we'll try and put together a setup for you. And yeah, have fun. All the best. Bye.